I always knew I had an artistic ability. If I had to describe my style in three words, I would say modern, classic, and timeless. I understood that my true talent was curating large-scale and small-scale projects. What makes design easy for me is clear understanding of each category. My name is Faith Berger, and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. And now, live on location from the St. Louis Closet Company, it's the In Your City Show. And now, here we are now with our next hot list guest. gorgeous artist, um, Faith Berger. She, I met her, oh my gosh, oh, oh, I'm... I'm trying to figure out how we how we met, and is it, it'll come back to me. And, it, and then we met. went to her art I don't know show. How we, met. we met at Nima Marcus when I had my art show. No, we so, met when you decided when I reached out to you to cover Burns Recovered. That's what it was. So Judy Goodman actually yes. introduced Judy us Goodman introduced um, because you were chair mm -hmm. on an incredible organization and we started talking I'm and still then on found the board. out that yeah. you did this and we put you in the magazine she was <laughs> she was in the ma magazine once and then the cover of our September style well, you had a women's Clayton. business owners section yeah. and then we were lucky enough to be in your charitable area with Burns Recovered um, but you've grown since we were talking you're yeah. talking about your art and your art is just absolutely gorgeous and you've transcended from just painting these gorgeous pictures and we've given you have gave me um, some stationery of your art and my best friend uh, they each got one of your cards oh and that's it's so like, nice that's real art like it's a <laughs> it's an original <laughs> well I've been in the art business a long time you know my yeah, and right. I'm listening to all your guests and I'm just going down memory lane because like Randy Naughton's been here doing her second act and that's similar to what I've done yeah. and then um you know uh with the white hair they're in family business she worked with her mother yeah. and i worked with my mom for a long time we have a ruchi gallery for 27 years i told her about your carpet too because that's what we're, right we're mentioning and i was missing after covid and we closed the gallery in 2011 and i have an art consulting firm one thing just kind of led to another and i was just missing art so much and uh, my mom passed and i just got the brushes out one day and usually I'm on the other side, right? Art dealer, art consulting, designing yeah. uh, corporate and residential spaces. Um, and I started painting and um, I just I mean, couldn't just believe how painting. much of a People piece of me I had put aside. And then, uh, you know, it kind of came full circle where everything I'd learned from every artist that we'd promoted, um, I started, you know, morphing into. And yeah. uh, Valentina Casale, uh, who's originally from Puebla, Mexico, but had moved to St. Louis. I love her accent. I know. She she's talks. great. Sounds she's lovely. also from a family business, and um, she saw my art on Instagram. You hear of these stories, but you never know it's going to yeah. <laughs> And she called, and actually I had a pop-up gallery in Clayton a year ago, October, and she walked in with a piece of my art uh, that she had designed as a rug, and that was that. That's something. Because the quality was so fabulous. And uh, she, yeah, she's transposing all the art, and we created a business, Faith Burger times the art rug. And it's a permanent collaboration. And now Champion Floor, right. uh, you know, honored us with a, a space. So you can see the, the um, rugs at any time. And then we're there every other Wednesday Do you see to kind of guide you through that process. Anywhere else that you're taking your art? Come on over, Jennifer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, we're doing, I'm opening a show at Neiman Marcus, uh, and that'll be on May 14th. Uh, we'll have nine pieces there. One of my pieces I'm very excited about because um, maybe because I'm small, I like to paint large. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really <laughs> know what, I don't know what is going on here, but <laughs> my new piece is 50 inches by 17 feet. Wow. Uh, it's going to be hanging uh, in their uh, Mariposa restaurant. And then I had another four panel piece. Uh, so I love to paint large scale. I paint largely abstract. And the pieces have six layers. Even the piece that I gave you as a greeting card mm -hmm. series, um, you know, they have, it takes weeks to dry because I like to layer it, and it's a certain way of, you know, distributing the paint. What do you see? Like, you're looking at this big canvas, mm -hmm. and you name your pieces. They mm -hmm. all have a name, right? You name Yeah, your this one's called Aspen Light. 
So is, um, is, what are you thinking in your head or envisioning? Positive you... energy. I love, um, you know, we, we it's so stressful living, right? We've got all these different pockets. Everybody's busy. We've got social media. We've got our families. We've got, you know, um, numbers we want to make. We've got connections we want to do. And that's just how the world turns when you're in business. Um, and on the flip side, you know, how are we going to stay positive? And, mm -hmm. and to your point about your home, you know, what, what kind of environment do we want to be in? Whether we're in the office or at home um, or we're at someone else's house, you want to feel comfortable and at ease and calm. This is how I try to live my life anyway. I don't know if my kids would agree with me on that. <laughs> I don't know if anyone would agree with me on this. But, but yeah, I try to uh, have my home environment, you know, very calm. And um, I find the abstract, letting the, letting the, the reason I like to paint this way is because, you know, I put the first layer on and then you can allow light through the different layers. Um, so they they all have that kind of positive energy, positive light, positive being, you know, mutual love, you know, they're just kind of how I feel about staying in a positive zone. That's pretty cool. I never knew that. Uh -huh. So you kind of got light trapped inside this art piece. In a yeah, way. In, in a way. way. Yeah. In fact, I'm experimenting now with glass. Um, my newer work is going to encompass glass. I'm having the paint come through the back of the glass. It's called reverse painting on, on glass or plexiglass, but something like you're seeing on the screen will now be on glass. And it'll um, you know, try and send the different light that, that mirror and glass have, reflective quality. Um, Are you getting a, an image or a vision of what you want, or people coming to you and saying, "I have these colors. I'd love to see something." Is it? Mm -hmm. How does it work with your art? Or both yeah, ways? and if I'm designing a space, like I'm, I'm just finishing a space now, and um, it became all cream. She was drawn to neutrals, and so you know, my piece will be above the headboard, and we did all of the uh, finishing together in the stone and the carpet and and everything. Um, that turned out to be a natural neutral piece. I, I largely paint in neutrals and mm -hmm. I love metallics um, it seems to I always seem to kind of come back around to that but I can paint in technicolor <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, I uh, kind of veer toward the neutrals it's just amazing to do something like you know later in life mm -hmm. did you envision yourself as being an artist when you were little I was always drawn to art my um, I have a degree in landscape design from a zoo um, you know, whether you're designing plant plantings um, or, you know, always in school, graphic design, you know, it was always similar to art, my fashion, you know, my mother was an artist. You were using a paintbrush that no, came later. No, no, no. And there's also, you know, different types of brushes, and um, I use a Japanese squeegee a lot. Uh, so, you know, just reading books, tons and tons and tons of artist books and their techniques. And then all the artists we worked with, hundreds of artists over the years. When we had the gallery, we had, you know, 400 artists we were working with in every genre, whether it was sculpture, ceramics, painting, uh, lithographs, originals, um, jewelry, jewelry design. And my mom was a master framer and she taught me how to frame. And that's a whole art in itself because she could take uh, like a plaster frame from you know 18th century and she studied with the dentist when you get you know your right work yeah. done in your mouth and they make all the molds Pulsey. yeah so <laughs> these days they just yank them out and put an implant in but in those days they created a tooth with plaster mm -hmm. and she actually learned how to do plaster moldings and repaired for the St. Louis Art Museum and things like that on old frames. So that was another whole facet of our business. Do you want to have Faith Burger Art Gallery? <laughs> or do you like just being uh, in other people's place? Well, as my husband says, been there, done that. <laughs> 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 yes, I would love to have a gallery, but you know, that's a whole different animal. And as you know, you have to carry inventory. And you know, I have grandchildren now. And you have to have a space and lights and employees. and. You know, yes, it's, ask it's, Jennifer. It's, you know, it's complicated. <laughs> and how and often you're probably here, right? right. Yeah, it is, it's complicated. So, um, uh, but I have a, a business plan, a master plan. I have things I want to do. And with the rugs, you know, there has to be a particular 
way to do it. But even that's kind of a joy because you can just create. We don't carry stock. Everything's custom. And we can, now there's a situation where there's 150 palms and you can choose any color under the sun, any shape up to 20 feet. Um, we can take facets of, of the rugs that exist or we can take a corner of one of the rugs and extrapolate it out. So it has so much flexibility, um, but there's really no um, inventory. Mm -hmm. So, you with, know. I'm, with art, the sky's the limit of yeah. where you can take that and the fact that you know, you started in one area, and you've just always been creative. And now, knowing that mm -hmm. you know you're painting these gorgeous pictures that are not paintings that are now turning out to be on people's yeah. floor and gorgeous art, um, that's really rewarding. Yeah, incredible. Thank you. I appreciate that. And so, want, go ahead. Go ahead. Do you ever want to venture off with a different style at any time? Yeah. Has well, I have. I have well, six. I mean, in a way, yeah. But I mean, just. <laughs> From what you're doing, oh, from okay. totally, doing it. totally different. I mean, I have six different kinds of John styles that I do. Um, yes, I think, I think, I think, to do what something you haven't conquered yet, you want yes. to do. Yes, well, the glass, the glass is going to be a whole different concept, you know, a whole different type of art. Yes, uh huh. So, yeah, I think, you know, I come back to my basics and try to um, solidify that and kind of build on that, but yeah, yeah. there's all kinds of things I'm always thinking and and when's your show again mm -hmm. when May 14th May. will open at Neiman, Neiman Marcus all right in their Mariposa cool. room and then to be able to see your work now I mean it's on your site it's on my site faithburger.com Instagram faithburger.art and you can faithburger on Facebook um, really anywhere you punch that in STL you can find you're me. gonna find her yeah. <laughs> and, I love the and my contact hidden info. talent of women and how um, creative and strong mm -hmm. and the ability I have, to run I have a business. always admired artists always because I'm but I'm you're a, an artist I'm, no not <laughs> you're really you're designing I'm a, a piece of I art I <laughs> you know you know shelves and construction and and if you gave me a, a blank canvas I get nervous I don't know <laughs> get nervous. how to start whereas an artist just they just go right it's a whole different you mindset know, yeah everybody does have their vision it, it's yeah. astounding how how many artists there are in the world and no two are alike everything's unique i you have know. a paint by number yeah. that only has <laughs> five She's little teeny like little five dots five. Uh -huh. so i don't think my next career is going to be an artist anytime soon i really you'd thought be I'd surprised like it. but see you're it's an artist with easel. your words in your you know magazine and organizing that she and, is an artist with the right magazine. and right. she doesn't agree how you put people together yeah. we really appreciate it <laughs> <laughs> well thanks for your patience today yeah we you've been so supportive you, of me and my career you. and yeah. um you know a lot of people are retiring at my age but i don't know i no. just feel like i'm starting yeah and i'm i, I think i'm ready to retire <laughs> <laughs> waiting for gordon to win the lottery <laughs> then i'll come support you all <laughs> and help you with whatever Is you need making millions up to now like 800 and something yeah, yeah. Million yes again. i'm going to buy a ticket like, right now take the, a couple million yeah. he can do what he wants to do he can shave <laughs> <laughs> right exactly everybody had something a little bit uh unique to offer so Thank you for having us here in your gorgeous home Absolutely. away from home here at St. Louis Closet Company. We really appreciate it. Absolutely. And it's been so fun, and it's been so fun to hear all the stories, right, yeah. of all the wonderful business owners I agree. And Everybody's and story was so unique. It's just different people and mm -hmm. so interesting. And we all have that why, right. and that's why you all are so successful, because when you know why you're doing something and why you love it, and when you're dialed in with people's needs, everything just tends to, you know, continue to grow, mm -hmm. and um, your customer base grows, you know, with it. People fall in love with you, and you know, it's well. You two, you two have done a lot to promote everyone, and I think I everyone getting that. to know everyone uh -huh. is is yeah, really unique. I love that. That's one thing I do mm -hmm. love about our job is trying to make marriages for people in business, you know. Bringing people together. Yeah. yeah, it's all about uh, supporting local. So mm -hmm. thank you so much for having thank us, Jennifer. You. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you for having us. Artists. Thank, thank you for hosting. you continue to grow and your artwork just, you know. Thanks, Kelly. I'd go to the restaurant and go, look at that. that. I did that. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> well, you've been supportive of me from the start, so I really appreciate everything. Oh, well, thank you so much.